Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Persia and Victoria 2. Um, so we're still just waiting for some kind of crisis to fire that we can get involved in so that we can have one last uh, fun war before the end of the game here. If it doesn't happen pretty soon, I will probably just uh, justify a war against um, Kiva, probably, and annex them. Which uh, is not... Uh, incredibly productive thing to do, but it would at least make our borders look nicer, which is something. We also get involved in a war with Japan doing that, probably, so that could be fun. Uh, debtor's Prison. Uh, so we can have aristocrats gain militancy, capitalists, or aristocrats lose militancy, capitalists gain it, or vice versa. Um, sure, we'll duly consider the issue. Tensions in Western Afghanistan. Okay. As long as the crisis that fires isn't over some land that I hold, then I don't really mind. There are a few places at 100% as it is, so... Or close to it. So one of those should fire at some point. China is not interfering with Tibet, despite the little flag that's popped up there. West Morocco is likewise just fine. Egypt also fine. Yeah, why don't we try and sphere Nejd as well while we're waiting? Looks like there's some action going on here. Japan has them at friendly. So it looks like nobody is really trying too hard. Okay, so we have a crisis in Thessalia. Germany is backing Greece. We want to be on Germany's side. So that's good. Since, um... I wonder if we have to click this button to make sure we get an offer. Uh, actually, we don't want to be on Turkey's side, so... Let's just hope somebody else does it. Tensions in Persian Uzbekia. We're getting tension there. Uh, Turkey's asking us, so it looks like without us, this crisis probably won't fire. But we definitely don't want to be against Germany, and we do want to be against Turkey, so I'm going to have to decline this one. I have a new upper house assembled, and the crisis failed to enlist interest. So that's unfortunate. The problem here is that a lot of the great powers are um, not in Europe. We have Japan and China and the USA, um, so they're not obliged to get involved in these crises, so it's less likely for them to actually happen. Tensions between ourselves and other great powers have erupted in Austria over the issue of criminal investigations, so we can gain influence with Austria and gain infamy. I think we'll just uh, not gain the infamy there. We can increase our opinion in Nejd. So I guess we will do that for now. Tensions in Yemen, okay. And Yemen also has unemployed craftsmen. Any more tension? Now it's in Yemen, of course, since they were just 
recently incorporated as a state. Got a factory building there though, so that's fine. Union busting. Capitalists in one of our states have begun employing union busting tactics to end what they describe as the scourge of organized labor. Pops in Congo Oriental. That support socialists lose consciousness. And they gain militancy. Or rich strata gain militancy and consciousness. Person reactionaries, A. Eh? Doesn't look like it's gonna be a big deal. Decent sized army there, but not big enough for us to really be worried about. Yep, nothing, nothing bad there. Oh, I guess we uh, built an army here in Bahrain and uh, it can't get out. Let's ask for military access from Nej. They won't accept. They will accept after we sphere them, of course, probably. Uh, for now, though, I can just transport them over. With my ships. We can pass a reform. Suppose we may as well go all the way up to good minimum wage. Unless there's something that people especially want. Well, it's a social reform, so we can't give them those. We could give them unemployment subsidies, though, or safe working conditions. Looks like unemployment subsidies is the more popular cause. So that's fine with me. I uh, still have a few rebel stacks to take care of. And one last one. That is all fine. Uh, so I think I'll wait till I get up to 100 here before I go up to friendly. Um, okay. Factory throughput and mining efficiency. And we finished modern army doctrine and all of the military techs, which is good. Uh, let's see. Sure, we'll get factory output efficiency. That seems pretty decent. Uh, tensions in eastern Afghanistan. So we actually do have quite a lot of tension built up over here. Which is kind of worrying. I think that's uh, the most tense area of the world at the moment. Not sure there's much going on over here. I guess um, Ecuador over here is pretty tense too. So there is a chance the next crisis that comes along could involve us in the bad way. But that's okay. We're waiting on these electric gear factories so our tanks can enter production. And our athletes are victorious. Some of our athletes who competed at the recent Olympic Games have been victorious and returned home with medals of gold, silver, and bronze. We gain a little prestige, that's good. And we are at 100 here. Um, sabotage, a factory in one of our states has become the target of a mild but costly sabotage campaign during the past few weeks. 
and local management suspects that a known socialist agitator in the area is responsible for the development. As the gentleman in question is known by management to have taken issue with a decision they recently took regarding company internal division of labor. So we can have poor strata gain militancy and consciousness or rich strata gain militancy and consciousness. And we'll just continue our long-standing policy of not caring about the rich. So we'll go up to friendly there and we have a head start on getting to 100. Looks like nobody is really trying otherwise. War between Siam and Johor. Alright. There's been a revolution in Denmark. Uh, okay. Now under control of the communists. Fair enough. Looks like that's actually not the case, but... Oh. Okay. Um... The first tractor in Socotra. Wow, those are some ugly borders, Romania. A weird tendril of land snaking around here. I intervene immediately. And we gain decor. That's good. More tensions in our land, which is not great. few other areas in the 80 to 90 percent range. So hopefully one of those goes first. We'd obviously prefer one involving Turkey or Russia. Increase our opinion. In fact, we can add them to our sphere. So that's good. We'll intervene immediately there. Makes our sphere of influence look a little better, I guess. Turkey and France's sphere, incidentally. I suppose we could have gone back to trying to sphere Turkey again. We did give up on it once before since there was too much competition. It's possible we would be able to do it now, or would have been in the past. I can put my priority down to low there. Maybe we'll see what we can do in Turkey. Go up to high priority for a little while and see what happens. We're already at cordial with them. Looks like we have stirred France into wakefulness there. They've started influencing themselves. Uh, intervene in that. So we can keep influencing until France gets close to 65, and then we'll have to stop. And it looks like our electric gear factories have been built. Uh, I'm going to increase the hiring priority on those for a little while. Make sure we can actually start getting some tanks built. The tank factory itself is full, so we can decrease priority on that. We have discovered Human Wave versus Spearhead, giving us all sorts of attack and defense bonuses. Oh, and we've been discredited. Okay, that's fine. We'll just keep influencing until uh, they get up to 65, as before. 
tensions in Persian Punjab. Still people unemployed in Yemen, but we should have a factory built there soon. I think. Still working on it. Tractors and electricity. That's nice. A bloody strike. Um, you can have them come become more conservative. That's okay. Up to one hundred percent here. Ninety-three percent. Powers have dropped a bit, so that's good. No great tension at the moment in Russia, it looks like. 76% here is the most. So I could increase opinion now, but I'll wait for it to go up to 100. Our upper house was rearranged. We'll intervene immediately. And we gained a core. And some tension. Uh, we'll just get admin efficiency. And I think we're pretty much at the point where we can't really um, wait for a crisis anymore, so I'm going to start justifying a war against Kiva so we can at least annex them before the end of the game. I think it's 10 infamy at most. Even if it's 11, I'll... Uh... Oh, we can't even annex them because they're civilized. Well, that is unfortunate. If we acquired a state from them... I guess we could get the rest of this state or the rest of this state, so either way, uh, we're not going to be able to take the whole thing. I guess we get Annex Nejd. Though we did just sphere them. Um, maybe we'll just justify a war against Turkey and fight them again. Just to acquire a state from them. It's 11 infamy. There is a chance we'll go over at 25. But we'd have to get very unlucky to be discovered within the first probably month or so. So we'll just try and do this. And we'll get a few more armies ready on the border. We already have most of our armies stationed up there already. France is up to 50. Oh, we've been expelled. Okay. Tensions in Persian Baluchistan. We got factory Equitech. Oh, it looks like um, the tension in Greece here has gone right back up to 100%, which is interesting. And we have more tension of our own. Uh, 
Uh, more cores. Uh oh, uh, Persian fascists have risen. Uh, looks like it's fairly small armies, so probably nothing too much to worry about there. Quite a lot of them in Africa, though. Tell this army to get going with Rebel Suppression too. Uh, but we're out of time for this episode, so we will have to leave it for next time. So join me again then, when we'll take care of these rebels, and uh, one way or the other, we'll be going to war.